All right, this could be a bit of a rant video from the research I've been doing. This uh, airbag light, well, it looks like it could have been fixed if it was within a five year, 60,000 mile uh, warranty. But being that my van is now nine years old and our mileage is over 64,000 miles, from what I'm reading, I may be responsible to get this thing fixed. Well, you know, the prices I've been hearing could cost a couple thousand to fix. Well, sorry, I don't have that kind of money. And if this is a safety feature, this is uh, Toyota's responsibility, the way I see it. And uh, they should be, you know, responsible for fixing this issue, whatever it is. Uh, checking out the Takata airbag recall. Uh, several models around the same year as mine are involved in that, but the Sienna is not. <laughs> like the gas pedal, you know, a few years back. You know, several models around the same year were involved, but yet the Sienna is not as well. So, uses the same pedal as every, everybody else from what I gathered, but, or all those other models. But anyway, just giving you a heads up, this could be a bit of a rant video. Heading to Toyota now, got my appointment at 7.15, it is now 6.50. So, run by the bank real quick, make a deposit, then we'll get in line at Toyota. Probably walk around the lot a little bit, and we'll wait for the results from the diagnostic, which is going to run about $55. And I'm going to get them to print out what the issue is, and uh, how much it's going to cost. So, stay tuned, we're heading out there now. A little bit of rain last night. We're supposed to get more today, but uh, based on the radar, it looks like it's pretty much broken up, so I don't think we're going to get much rain. Uh, damn sick. There we go. The wipers don't need them now. So, yeah, I went to my buddy's shop yesterday in the previous video in case you didn't see that, and they did the quick diagnostic basically for free. Just connected the computer up to see what the code was, and uh, yeah, it's pulling up some sort of uh, left hand in circuit or in in open circuit, something like that for the left hand side. Something about the squib, yeah, squib circuit. I'm trying to go by memory here, and uh, yeah, from what I've been reading. <laughs> Looks like this is more of an issue in the 2006 year models, but yet there was no recall issued for those. And, uh, you know, a couple years back I had that, uh, what is that, that TCM or uh, something about the tire pressure sensor. And they were saying it was going to cost a fortune to fix. Well, Luckily, that was under my extended warranty, which has since expired as of March of last year. <laughs> Go figure. And, uh, yeah, I was able to get that fixed, but still, that's minor. It's only a tire pressure. It's just, again, an annoying light on, on the dash. And I may wind up having to do what I did originally with that uh, tire pressure sensor light. Just... I may have to mark it out or put some, you know, put some tape or something over it just to, because it's bright, you know, my wife already has problems seeing at night as it is, so, you know, that's pretty, pretty bright when she's driving back, so, yeah, chances are this is not going to get fixed at Toyota unless a, unless a recall is, you know, brought up, and right now, sounds like that ain't going to happen. Oh, good. Wait for the signal. Uh, look, I'm racing a couple of geese. You can see them up there. I'm flying behind the trees now. Yeah, I'll probably walk around the dealership, and mosey at some of the new vehicles, which I am in no mood to buy. I don't need a another car payment. And I know the salesman. I was actually brought up before when I had the tire issue a few year, a few weeks back, I should say. Uh, I got the service department guys, and of course, I guess they ask, or they're recommended to ask, you know, by the way, are you interested in a new vehicle? Um, no, I stopped the guy right there. I was not even going to hear it. it. Took me 
almost seven years to pay this van off. Paid it off, what, two years ago? Yeah. And I tell you what, that's that was a huge relief getting rid of that car payment every month. I'm definitely not in the mood to have another car payment. Love to have another new car, you know. My truck <laughs> needs over a thousand dollars in repair from ball joints to air conditioning. And uh, you know, I am just not in the mood to to deal with another car payment right now. Oh look, crack in the box. We might stop there for breakfast. Why not? Another another food review video since it's right here. I'll probably stop there on the way back, but right now go to Oh boy, what are you doing? Nice signal, idiot. You get your damn donuts. Just want to make my damn deposit. Moron. All right, run through the ATM, make a deposit real quick, and we'll head on to Toyota. All right, that's done. And oh look, it's Mickey D's. Pretty quiet inside. <laughs> yeah, we already did our breakfast review from them. We'll uh, we'll do something else at a later date. But right now, I got things. Okay, we're good there, we're good there. So let's get to Toyota and get in line and find out what the result's gonna be. We're good on traffic. Whoops, a little wet road there. Slipping and sliding. Wow, can't wait for one car. Morons. Of course, gotta wait for another signal though. Oh, Charlotte traffic, have fun. Heading northbound. Man, slick roads. All right, make the arrow, sweet. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I see a couple Mustangs heading towards Toyota. Huh. Well, that's something. All right, we're here. Yeah, I mentioned this before, but I do not care for dealerships. Only reason I'm here is for the recall. Recall, recall. Yep, oh, already got people in line, so figured I might as well go ahead and get up here early. them do their thing and we'll mosey around a bit till it's done. Huh. I like that on the bottom of the window. Like the fine print. Oh it's not true. Not far in line. Don't mosey around the lot I guess. Something to do. Mm, ain't that a pretty truck. Blackout wheels, tundra. 20 miles a gallon? Nah, it's just the synthetic oil, I guess. Oh, uh, pretty. Is it open? Nope, it's locked. Uh, of course, can't make out the price. Oh yeah, you can. Holy crap, $45,000. You can see it. Can you see it? Ah, damn. That's crazy. Hmm. Looks like it's got the... No, it's not spray-in. Plastic. Of course. Why would it be a spray-in liner? Four-door XP. Well, yeah, they keep everything locked. As to that shady car lot. Oh. Another fancy truck, fancy wheels. Let me get down to the basic models, basic wheels. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
constructions going on over there. I'm not sure what they're building, but it's big, whatever it is. That right, looks like we walked into the pre owned section. Got a Jeep. <laughs> That's a newer Jeep. Guess uh, traded in on Toyota, Honda, GMC, Chevrolet, Mazda, and a Honda Ridgeline. Wow, that's something. Yeah. Probably not even worth. I mean, I know my van last last check was worth close to ten thousand for the low mileage, I guess. But yeah, now I'm sure that's going to be even less with that airbag light because I'm I'm not going to pay to get that fixed if it's ridiculously priced. Yep, more Siennas. Well, that's like a sporty model with gray wheels. Wow. Drive a minivan in style. Jeez, all sorts of technology. My wife still can't figure out some of the technology on the 2007 model. Huh. Yeah. Just browsing. I'm not even thinking of buying something new. It's just not going to happen. Oh, isn't that cute? Toyota something, like an electric blue or whatever. Probably some electric car. Well, I don't know. It's got a gas door. I guess that's a gas door. Prius. Hybrid. Well... got holy crap 25.5 jeez about what we paid for our minivan back in 2007 jeez yeah some sort of crossovers SUV things a little breezy out here if I didn't wear shorts yeah From white, <laughs> aside from the red one, to gray to black. It's uh, quite a color range you got there. Uh, well, we got quite the rainbow combo going here. Blue, orange, yellow, green. Like Lucky Charms. <laughs> yeah, and there goes the van. See what the final result is. Yeah, it's actually good. I'm getting up here so early that there's uh, no car salesman here to harass me. Excellent. Now, for you car salesmen out there that watch my videos, I apologize in advance, but no fan of you. <laughs> Just been harassed and screwed over too many times in the past because I know you're just trying to make your commission and all that and that's all well and good but I have to look out for myself and my payments what, what I can afford so that's all I got to say about that <laughs> oh, there's a sporty looking SUV fancy wheels huh. An XP. I guess that's the extreme. I don't know. I guess that's what it is. What is this? Forerunner. Well, that's pretty sharp. I mean, I like the off road effects and all that stuff. Yeah, I guess that's a guy thing. I don't know. Maybe some of you women out there actually do like this kind of look as well. I don't know. Me? Yeah. I like the wheels especially, yeah, the wheels seem to definitely change the character of, of a vehicle. Alright, what's the going price on this? Uh, let me see, 39000 Wow, 
when you're done with taxes and tags, yeah, you're probably closing in on the $40,000 mark. Holy crap. And a payment, I'm sure, of around four to five hundred. Maybe more, maybe six. I don't know. However, they figure that up for five years. My goodness. Yeah, sorry, I'm just uh, not made of money. <laughs> ah, the showroom. Lime green thing. Sporty wheels. OW20 motor oil. Okay, something new I'll have to look up. Yeah, cute. What is this? I am ski on. Okay, thought that was going away. Purdy. Yep, blackout package on another Prius. Ah, cute. There's another big old truck. Fancy wheels. Works. Is that what that says? What's the price on that? I uh, can't see. Yeah, I can't read it. Maybe it's on the camera. Nice little step bars. Plastic bed liner. Sliding glass. Very cute. Oh. Not too bad looking. Again, can't afford it. Rather it be black in color myself, match the wheels. I like that blackout package. I think that looks sharp. Oh, tires. Ooh, fancy lights. I find them cheaper on eBay. The lounge. More wheels. Hmm, Purdy. Oh, isn't that cute? A little pink stripe. Wow. Hybrid. Okay. Well, oh, isn't that precious? Oh, more fancy wheels. Oh, there's your college and NFL. I don't see any Panthers. I've oh, got Atlanta. Oh, little air fresheners, gators, titans, vikings, isn't that cute? And little lights, I guess. Light restoration, seventy nine ninety five. <laughs> uh, let me just relax. Wait for the van. One, two, three, four. Now well, we're going on an hour. So hopefully the van will appear. I can get out of here. Oh, 
Well, another one in. That van's still there. Hope you can tell. I guess we're going to continue to wait. Yeah, a load of new cars are in. Those look like they might be Toyotas. Could be Hondas though. Can't really tell. I think maybe they're Hondas. Nice plate. Somebody trying to steal it. <laughs> All bent up. Right, still waiting on the van. Might as well check out the Tacomas. TRO 4x4s. A couple of them. Full size four door. Short bed. Of course, you can't really see too much inside. It's the going price on these. 37. 37,225. Wow. 20 miles a gallon huh. for a V6. Oh, aren't those fancy? These are the V6 models. Oh, 33,629. Or I guess the fully loaded XP. Hmm. Well, yeah, V6. Yeah, step bars and all. Yeah, aggressive all-terrain tires. Sweet. Well, pretty nice. If I was making real money, might be something to consider. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah. Looks like a five-speed automatic. Five or four, can't really tell. Hmm. Baja California assembly, isn't that something? And of course, plastic. Plastic bed liner. That's something. Uh, still sitting in there. Damn, it's taking them so long. Going on an hour and a half now. Uh, just got an update from the service guy. It is a squid module, which is what I, you know, found. You know, uh, detected earlier and amazingly it's being covered under my extended warranty I'm not gonna complain I'm not even gonna you know I'm kinda shocked right now but it's all covered so <laughs> yeah that's why it's taking longer so yeah they're replacing the I guess the module that's bad I'll try to get an idea how much that is or um, all that but apparently even the diagnostic is is covered as well so sweet that's why it's taken so long but yeah I guess we'll uh, continue to wait till it's done and uh, man I mean, I'm kind of speechless right now just trying to figure this out all out that uh, I thought I was gonna wind up getting screwed here but no no Toyota's covering me. I tell you what, that gets some points in my book. <laughs> All right. Cars are pulling out. Well, that's that usual trailer hitch. Angle bracket around the exhaust. Well, the van's been moved, so maybe maybe it's getting washed. I don't know. There's old blue. Finally, we're done. Over three hours. Oh. All right. As said before, this is actually covered under my extended warranty. I thought that was over, but apparently not, which I am glad. Total, 1576 And I paid... Zero. So 
Awesome. Um, damn, stay up paper. Let's see. Body electrical piece, airbag light flashing, diagnose. <clears throat> it was a squid module, apparently, from what uh, um, from what they found out. And um, well, I don't know. Actually, that's all a bill for a replace left side marker light bulb, rear wiper, twenty one ninety five. Really. Rack and pinion assembly. Holy crap, almost $1,200 for that. Yeah, replace transmission pan gasket. $350. Oh, so I got a leak there. Is that what they're saying? Um, oh well. Anyway, yeah, it was the uh, uh, diagnosed airbag. It was a squib module, apparently. That's what they had to replace. So, yep, squib module was. The issue, let me just go ahead and get on out of here. Yeah, go out the wrong way once again. Why not? So, yeah, it was the module, and apparently my extended warranty covered it. So, yeah, I'm ecstatic about that. Didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. Even the diagnostic was covered. So, ha! Sweet. <clears throat> Cannot complain about that at all. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and uh, head on home. Probably stop by Jack in the Box. Well, it is now 10 o'clock, so, yeah, I might get, uh, I might get some lunch. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go on Jack, go to Jack in the Box. Actually, the Hardee's, there's another Hardee's right here across the street, but yeah, we'll save that for another day. Come on, go, 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 got the light. Florida car, of course. Yeah, caught up with a Dodge like mine. Eat them all. All right, left turn. All right, let's move. Okay. Yep, been a while since I've been in this jack-in-the-box. Go through the drive-thru. Get a combo of some sort. And a Ricker service. Hogging up all the spaces. And we'll wait. Oh, uh, yes, and no lights. <laughs> well, what should we get? Think about the Frisco burger. I don't see that, though. Uh, we'll ask him. There it is, the sourdough bacon ranch. Yeah, we might go for that. Well, I don't know what this ditz is doing. So you're getting frustrated about her order. Throwing her hands up. Oh, just order something and move. Thank you. All right. Hey, you the box. Would you like to try a new double jack today? I'd like to try the uh, the sourdough bacon ranch uh, super size. The sandwich or the combo? The combo. Is that a medium size? Uh, the super size. Uh, curly fries will work. What's the drink? Uh, Coke. Easy that'll that'll do it. Second one, six forty one. All right. Six forty one. Okay. All right. All right. We're next. No, that'll do it. That's that's fine. There you go. Great. Thank you very much. Hold on, let me get your car. 
Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I need that. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. All right. Get this in. I oh, forgot my card. Yeah, that would be great. I have all my money. Okay. We can try to get around this traffic, which isn't much. Let's move, Charger. We got the green. Sweet. Oh, man. Well, that's some good news. At least I don't have to worry about that damn airbag light again. So that's fixed and covered by the extended warranty. Yeah, I guess that's probably something to mention. If uh, you get an extended warranty on something, it's probably good to get it on your vehicle. Because the factory warranty, usually it's somewhere around five to 50,000 miles or seven to 70,000 miles. <clears throat> and we got the extended, I guess that goes for 10. I'm not sure, I have to double check on that, but the van's nine years old and we're of course under well, 64, almost 300 miles. So yeah, that's something uh, maybe to look into on your new vehicle, especially after my wife, her first car was a Ford Focus. 2000 model and man that thing was a piece of crap as soon as we paid it off <clears throat> it was like every month something was breaking and it was costing us you know, a car payment the equivalent of a car payment every month so yeah got rid of it got this brand new and uh, put the extended warranty on it just to be safe and <clears throat> yep good thing we did all right as I cross the tracks about home so I guess we'll wrap up this uh, extended Toyota dealership tour and airbag module replacement. So until the next thrilling adventure.